I'm coming to you with my May favorites. I don't have any favorites this month. Um, okay, what, girl? I've been using the same things. I've been using, um, it's two things. I've been using the same things I've been using in April. April favorites, my NARS concealer, my Real Technique sponge, my Buxom lip gloss. I'm still loving those. Um, and I'm still trying new things. I'm still reviewing new things like um, my Juvia's Place palettes. I'm really into those now, but not enough to put in a favorite. Like, I just don't throw things in my favorites. Um, I have to really be in love with it. I don't have any. I have the same favorite. Like, if I did this video, it would be the same favorite. So I thought of a fun thing to do. I thought I would go back to last year's May favorites and see if I still like those products. I don't have any favorites this month. So let's see what my favorites were a year ago. Um, and we shall see if I still like those. So I'm going to link the video that I'm using. To actually, last year I did my May and June favorites together in one video. Um, and I had just moved into this apartment. So you can see how I've grown. I actually filmed from a different angle. I filmed like this way. Now I'm filming this way. Um, you can see all of that. And everything so I'm looking at the video as we speak and yeah we're gonna go and get into it so the first two favorites were not makeup okay um the first one was my makeup room and yes it is still a favorite I just moved in there getting things together I just had barely enough set up to film but just getting in there since then I have purchased new furniture I've rearranged some things um you guys I'll put down I'll put a link down below like my beauty room tour the most recent one my makeup collection I'll link all those fun things down below uh but yes it's still my favorite place to be um yeah it's still my favorite place to be, and that's really awesome. I was so excited about it. I'm still excited about it. I've, I've decorated. I've done so much with it, and I'm just so excited to be here. Uh, I've been here. I've lived in this apartment. I did the moving vlogs and everything. I've been in this apartment for a year. Nelson and I actually just re-signed a lease for another year, and I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I, I really do. I really do like it. The next favorite in that video was Nelson. He's still a favorite. He's always my favorite. I'm tell me. He's, he's always my favorite. And here's the video. Hold on. This is the video I'm watching. Like, I was frustrated. Not necessarily freaking out because I knew what happened, but you guys know I, if you don't know, let me talk about it. I first saw it, I don't know, Pinterest, what have you. And I was like, I need it on my nails. So these are kind of old now. These are my birthday nails. I have holographic nail oh, polish. Oh, my holographic nail polish. Again, that shows your opinion can change. My holographic nail polish from Color Club. I don't even have them. I had borrowed them from someone else. Um, but I... Since that video, I haven't worn them because they weren't mine. I bought holographic nail polish from someone else and I used them on my nails for my birthday and it was fabulous. So, so I finished watching the entire video. <laughs> Save you guys that time. All right, and so I have pulled from the video things that I had mentioned a year ago and I can honestly say they are all still favorites. All right, so I mentioned these two brushes. This is the Morphe M439. That's so funny because I used this brush today. Um, I filmed this like chit chat, get ready with me. I used this brush today without even knowing I was going to film this video. Uh, this is the M439 and it's a foundation buffer brush. It's super dense. It's super fluffy and it builds, um, it builds, blends my foundation effortlessly. So yes, I'm, that's still a fave. Um, and I know I did I decided to do this is on a whim, but I know a lot of times, especially when people have larger collections, uh, like myself, or even when you're watching someone else, you see a favorite and then you never see it again. Again, that's why I do my quarterly reports. I miss this quarter's quarterly report, so in June, at the end of June, I'll just do a whole half year report. But yeah, to let you know that I'm still using those products, I'm still loving them. They weren't just a random favorite one time, you know, so yeah. The second brush was the Morphe G.O. Oh, my God. This is the largest powder brush I own, sort of. And it is actually, like, the most expensive brush I own, if that, if that matters to anyone. It's, like, 22 bucks. I got it from IMAX, like, 22 bucks. Um, because I don't spend a lot on brushes. And... This one was so worth it. It's dirty. Uh, but it's a super fluffy, super large powder brush. I use this brush today, too. Super large powder brush. It blends powder effortlessly. It is... Why do I smell it? It's dense enough, but but uh, the, the... I don't want to say fluffy. It's fluffy, but that's not the word I'm looking for. The... the 
the hairs aren't super compacted where you're not you're not gonna get an overly powdered looking face you understand what i'm saying it's not like a buffing in type of situation so yeah i still like that as well also because the reason a lot of these products were in the video that video i um was moving i was in the process of, like i had just moved in the apartment and i was showing you things that kind of lasted me throughout the move because i had to pack up all my makeup and i was living out of like a makeup bag and these were staples that i kept in that i wore like every day and they are still staples the tattoo liner cat Von D tattoo liner uh and trooper this is the limited edition one i'm gonna tell you something last year this still is going strong. Look at this liner. It's still going strong. No, I'm not throwing it out until it dries out. $25 eyeliner. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. And it works. At first, I didn't like this. At first, I thought when I bought it, I bought a dried out one. It just didn't work for me. It didn't do anything. But as I got to use it, it stayed black. It lasts all day. It stays all day. Um, stays on all day. The, um, tip is thin enough for me to get a precise wing without having to use tape or things like that. And it's just a solid liquid liner. Solid. All right. Also, the Lorac Pro was a favorite last year. And, of course, it still is. I this is so funny because I just decided to do this. Like, I was like, I'm going to film. I got to film my favorites. But I was like, I don't have any. And I got this idea literally like 15 minutes ago. However, this morning when I did this makeup, um, I filmed another video talking about my favorite high-end palettes. And this was in there. Like, that's crazy. It's crazy. I would say great minds think alike, but it's just me. <laughs> the Lorac Pro, the original Pro. Um, I'm not gonna repeat a lot because I am. Um, one, you see the original video. Two, I did do a video on my favorite high-end palettes and why this one is the bomb.com. But yes, it's still a fake. Y'all guys know I love Lorac. Y'all know. Y'all know. All right, and then the last two products that I want to mention, um, I mentioned the Makeup Forever Duo Matte. <laughs> this one I am not throwing away yet because I'm getting these edges, but I already have a backup. Um, look at this. The Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. Look at this. I'm trying to get them edges. Look at this. The Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. This is a matte powder foundation. It is almost full coverage. It is matte. It is flawless. It is beautiful. I'm in the shade 218. This is like a $34 powder and I'm already on like my third one. I love this powder. Um, it, it, it matches my skin tone very, very well. And this is one of those powders I'll wear alone. Like I'll put concealer on first and then go all over my face with this powder in it. And I have on uh, a f uh, almost me high medium coverage look with this powder. So, yes, I still love it. Um, I do. You can tell. <laughs> I do have a backup, though, you guys. Oh, man, I just got my shirt dirty. Oh, well. I do have a backup, though, so don't worry. But, yes, that's still a fave. And then, finally, I don't want to mention from that video is the... Ma I think I pulled everything that I mentioned from that video. I keep saying, like, I picked certain things, but... Um, anyway, finally is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, this is Gold Deposit here. This was the only highlighter. It was the only highlighter that I, um, oh my god. Did I pick gold deposit or was it a different shade? Uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave the right shade down below if I got the wrong shade. But it was a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Needless to say, all of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes that I own are my favorites. But yes, this is gold deposit. Oh my god, it is a wonderful highlighter. A wonderful natural looking highlighter. See how as I blended that out? Now my skin just has this sheen to it. Beautiful. Um, this is one I reach for. This is like in my my everyday common rotation of highlighters. It is uh, gold deposit. I think gold just looks really nice on my skin tone and different things like that. But yes, I, it's so funny that I decided to do this because all of those are staples in my collection that I use. Most of them I'm still using on a regular basis. And that's that's so that's so awesome. So I don't know. May, the next time I don't have any favorites, I think I'll do this in the months that I don't have any favorites. Or I could do it. Let me know if you want me to do it in addition to the new favorites. Just go back and visit old favorite videos. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.